When it comes to survival games on Xbox Game Pass, there's a lot to choose from. Whether you're into classic horror survival or prefer something with a sci-fi twist, the charts are brimming with games that span the genre. In this video, we've compiled the top 20 survival games available on Microsoft's service. Number 20 is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a game that deviates from the standard survival game format. It's an asymmetric multiplayer title described as thrilling as the 1974 movie it's based on. In this game, you can play as either the survivors or as Leatherface and his cannibal family. When you're controlling the people who don't hunger for human flesh, it becomes a tense survival experience where you must escape from these horrifying adversaries. The fact that the killer hunting you down is controlled by other humans makes things more challenging. After all, you can't reliably study patterns or predict the routes your hunter will take, as they can always switch it up. Number 19 is Soma, a game that offers a narrative-focused survival experience about a man who wakes up in an underwater facility far into the future. As the protagonist, you explore the place and engage with various mechanical beings housed there. The experience is thought-provoking, prompting you to question the nature of being alive. The survival aspect of the game manifests in the form of monsters that stalk the facility and will kill you on sight. To survive, you must use stealth to stay away from their grasp. Soma is a fantastic game, featuring a detailed world, an engaging plot, and the perfect amount of creeping terror and suspense. Number 18 is Signalis, a 2.5D survival horror game that pays homage to classics in the genre. Consequently, resources are limited and managing what you have is crucial for survival. In addition to surviving encounters with the various enemies you come across, you must also solve puzzles as you explore a derelict spaceship. You take on the role of a humanoid android who has just awakened and is searching for her lost dreams. Signalist incorporates concepts that have made survival horror games successful. However, unique twists, quirky style, and abundance of puzzles make it a mesmerizing experience. Number 17 is No Man's Sky. It's fair to say that No Man's Sky had a challenging launch. However, after several updates, the game has evolved into a more polished and fascinating adventure. In this game, you have the freedom to explore a multitude of procedurally generated planets, gathering materials to enhance your gear. Despite its peaceful sounding premise, these planets aren't all devoid of life. There is usually something around that's trying to kill you. You must use your wits and whatever equipment you have to survive the attacks while simultaneously making the planet as habitable as possible. Number 16 is Vampire Survivors, an original and straightforward survival game. You're placed onto a plot of land and a ridiculous number of enemies are thrown at you to the extent that it's also considered a bullet hell game. Your sole objective is to survive the onslaught for as long as you can. It doesn't feature an array of deep mechanics like many other survival titles, but it doesn't need them. The various weapons and upgrades, along with the pure fun of surviving, are sufficient to keep the game interesting for many hours. Number 15 is Dead Space. The original Dead Space was an iconic game, and the remake is a brilliant and terrifying horror experience made even better with this release. It leans more towards survival horror than simply survival, implying that what you have to endure is generally very frightening. You're up against a seemingly endless number of alien monsters known as necromorphs as you attempt to navigate an abandoned ship in space. You can defend yourself against them, as the game includes third-person shooting mechanics. The combat feels unique because you take down enemies by targeting their limbs. This feature helps it stand out from many other survival titles available on Xbox Game Pass. Number 14 is Terraria. This game emerged directly from the excitement surrounding Minecraft, sharing some similarities in terms of a block universe. However, this game distinguishes itself by limiting the world to a two-dimensional pixelated setup. It compensates for this limitation by providing an even more comprehensive array of monsters to fight. Players must build their own village, customize their character, recruit NPCs, and survive before night falls, bringing forth shambling monsters and demons. After a few hours, the campaign's main focus shifts toward exploration, resource gathering, and engaging boss fights. Number 13 is Dead by Daylight. Whether Dead by Daylight is considered a survival game depends on which team you're on. This is an asymmetric multiplayer game where one person plays as the killer, while everyone else controls the survivors. As the name suggests, the role of the killer is to go around murdering everyone. If they all die, the killer wins. As the survivors, your goal is to open the exit or find another way to escape. What makes Dead by Daylight stand out from other survival horror games is its extensive list of crossovers, which has become its biggest selling point. Number 12 is Conan Exiles. In many ways, this title plays out like a fairly straightforward survival game, casting a surprisingly wide net in terms of mechanics and reach. It encompasses many of the genre's fundamentals, including resource and meter management, deep crafting, and combat. 
Although primarily designed with community and online play in mind, the game also contains a story, aiming to satisfy players looking for a more single-player campaign experience. Conan Exiles works well as an action RPG and even offers a main questline that provides some direction for the first few dozen hours. Base building and crafting are also central to the package, with the former being intrinsically linked to PvP. Number 11 is Ark Survival Evolved. Plopped down nearly naked in a world full of dinosaurs, it's tough to hold your own. Dilophosaurs may be small, but they are vicious and you'll die many times before learning how to craft the weapons and tools necessary to fend them off. As you gain skills though, the challenge makes this game very satisfying. When you start learning to construct shelters, transportation, and train dinosaurs, Ark's ambition pulls it in the right direction with more force than its clunkiness tugs it the other way. It's always more enjoyable to spend time with a game that tries something new and exciting stumbling along the way than a game that tries to tick focus group inspired boxes. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up to spread the joy. Number 10 is Amnesia the Bunker. After several sequels that did not reach the same heights of notoriety as the original, The Bunker was able to reclaim the horror-inducing crown the series deserves. Deviating from the typical narrative-driven gameplay of its predecessors, The Bunker almost feels like a horror roguelike, creating a manual save system that requires you to manage resources collected during your runs throughout The Bunker. With not enough supplies to confront the beast, you have to hide and outmaneuver the creature. Along the way, you can explore to learn more about The Bunker and what is happening down there. Number 9 is Stranded Deep. This game draws inspiration from Castaway as it strands players in the Pacific Ocean following a plane crash. Upon reaching one of the map's islands, survivors must immediately start searching for resources to combat hunger and thirst. Like most survival games, Stranded Deep strongly emphasizes its minute-to-minute -minute gameplay, with the early stages primarily focused on exploring the terrain in search of basic necessities. As players progress, they gain the ability to craft more complex items and construct bases, Mechanically, Stranded Deep is a fairly typical entry in the genre, but its unique aquatic setting sets it apart, making it one of the best survival games on Xbox Game Pass. Number 8 is State of Decay 2, a post-apocalyptic zombie horror survival game. What sets it apart from many others is that you are not a lone survivor. Instead, you have to work together with other people who have managed to avoid being eaten by the undead. You must utilize their skills and build your own base to withstand the onslaught of wandering zombie hordes. This game can be bloody, but it's extremely fun too. The team-based ethos gives this game an uplifting core that contrasts sharply with the gruesome setting and grueling challenges. State of Decay 2 is a significant improvement from its predecessor, which is also available on Xbox Game Pass. There's a large and diverse variety of content within, all of which is supported by well-developed systems, fluid gameplay, and easy-to-understand functionality. Number 7 is Medieval Dynasty, a fantastic blend of multiple genres that brings aspects of survival, simulation, and strategy under one roof, resulting in unique and interesting gameplay. While not perfect, Medieval Dynasty delivers an unforgettable experience by placing you directly in the Middle Ages, forcing you to hunt, farm, and maintain a village for survival. If you're looking for something that shakes up the survival formula, this may be what you're seeking, as it has enough of the survival identity present but stretches its legs far beyond what you would expect. Living your day-to-day -day life will be tense, rewarding, and exhilarating, but it can also be frustrating if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Number 6 is Astroneer, a very pure survival game. With neither time limits nor set goals, you can wander the worlds of your solar system, collecting resources that enable you to research and build ever more complex technologies. While there are no animals in this game, only plants, that doesn't mean you're free from threats. Not only can the flora kill you with poison explosions and impaling spines, but it's also easy to get lost, especially if you wander into caves. A missing Astroneer usually runs out of air and dies. Astroneer is definitely on the softer side of the survival spectrum. It looks inviting and fun, whether your lone explorer is bounding across the colorful landscape or mining deep within underground caves. Number 5 is Frostbump. If you're seeking something with more grit than your average survival city-building game, then Frostbump should definitely be in your library. While most survival games on Xbox Game Pass only require players to protect themselves, Frostpunk takes it a hundred steps further, placing players in charge of an entire group. Set in a harsh winter, the captain must manage productivity and morale while making tough decisions, such as determining which buildings should be placed closest to the steam engine, for example. Frostpunk is unforgiving, especially during its opening hours. Mistakes will be made, and as things start to spiral downward, players will have to decide the lengths they are willing to go to in order to survive. Number 4 is Seven Days to Die, a game that offers many ways to perish, such as through starvation or dying of thirst. 
Not to mention, several factors can expedite your downfall, including harsh weather, dysentery, and injury. However, the most significant threat to your health in this title is, of course, the zombies. These monsters continually roam the game's open world and will attack you on sight. To make matters worse, they get stronger with each passing day. Fortunately, you can craft bases to hide in and tools to help defend yourself. Plus, you can bring in some friends to help out as the game supports multiplayer. Despite not receiving the best reviews from critics, it is still considered one of the best survival games available on Xbox Game Pass. Number 3 is DayZ, a survival game that offers online-only gameplay, forcing you to explore the world with the hopes or fears of running into other players trying to survive. The rush of encountering someone and not knowing their plans can be incredibly daunting to many, which is understandable, but we strongly urge fans of the genre to attempt this unique experience at least once. Additionally, DayZ has a relatively robust modding community and a large player base in general, allowing you to easily meet like-minded players, setting you up for nearly endless hours of enjoyment. There's nothing like DayZ out there, and there's no questioning where its success came from, as trying to survive among zombies and real players is inherently terrifying and engaging. Number two is Grounded. If you've ever been curious about experiencing life at the size of an ant, Grounded provides that unique perspective. In this game, you take on the role of a shrunken human surviving in a backyard teeming with various bugs and creatures, each serving a specific purpose. While some creatures are helpful, others, like spiders, pose a significant threat as their primary goal is to eliminate you. Not a fan of spiders? No worries, the game features an arachnophobia safe mode, allowing you to alter the appearance of these creatures. Amidst contending with these challenges, you must manage your character's basic needs, such as eating and drinking, to ensure survival. Grounded provides excellent survival mechanics and challenging combat in a novel environment with an intriguing plotline. Number one is This War of Mine Final Cut. While death is often imminent in most survival games, these titles are typically considered fun. However, this adjective does not describe this war of mine. Instead of placing players on the battlefield, this game delves into the lives of civilians caught in the crossfire. Whether alone or with people they need to protect, the survivors are ordinary individuals who have endured hell, an experience that can bring out the best or worst in people. The base game features 12 playable characters, each with their own personalities, strengths, and weaknesses. The Little Ones expansion introduces a child character, adding a whole new dimension to the horror depicted in the game. This expansion encourages players to contemplate how innocent children might be living their lives during wars and why it is crucial to prevent the killing of innocents. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.